Protect us. Oh, this. The spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but. Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest! For the Dream Trawler ritual, I trust. <gasps> How'd you know that? I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti Arts. Wow. Paimon's never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these... They serve little purpose here, in any case. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Shrine. So next, we just need to grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the Once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Ah, it's that guy's voice! Hello? W where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion, created by the Adepti art known as Mortal Lingering. Now that you have taken the Seven Star Lamps and Sensor used in the Mortal Lingering Ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. Yet my strength failed, and I was slain in battle. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? So, you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Even after all these millennia, he still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervases. You sacrificed your life for Liyue, didn't you? Life is a precious thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the Conqueror of Demons must bear... <sighs> Pervases... 
I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions, but by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. And please pass on my regards to the Conqueror of Demons. <sighs> if only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. Huh? Looks like he's gone then. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervade. We should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Have you gathered the items for the ritual? Hmm... This sensor, and these lamps... Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Oh! And, um, he says hi! Pervases. <sighs> yes. This, as I thought, it seems that he could not leave Liyue behind, either. <laughs> well then, let us begin prepare. Place the sensor in the middle and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Yes, this will do. Now, the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. That... seems like a real rigmarole. Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigmarole. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. <laughs> Stop talking! Paimon, sorry! When offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice, Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. If all goes well, Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. If you have no other questions, let us begin. Then we meditate. 
hesitate. Ugh. Paima really doesn't want to think about that fraud. Hmm. Oh. Statues are glowing at the waist, so we just fire one arrow each at the glowing parts, right? <laughs> Need my help as usual? Close enough. Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. Where is one? Huh? You two look familiar. What's with one's body? One feels light, weightless. An Adepti art? <laughs> you dare don the guise of an Adeptus in one's presence. But as for the matter of one's present location, one could have sworn that one was dozing off to sleep at Wang Shu Inn not a moment ago. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an Adeptus such as oneself, one must indeed be in a dream. Ugh, there's no helping this guy, is there? Huh? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will permit such insolence in one's own dreams? Alright, time to take him down a peg. Look at you, Foozil! <laughs> Swift and mercy. Oh, such a hurt. Hey, hey, stop it! Stop it! Ow! What's happening? Please stop! I surrender! I surrender! <sighs> uh, no! No, never again! You... Oh, how did I ever have the misfortune to meet you two? Please. Great Adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not Adept. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an Adeptus. Exorcise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the Infernal into their lives, they're- uh, I... You're... Seems like Shell's got him scared stiff. Oh, great Adeptus. Might I ask your name? It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. You know about Xiao? Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. 
I learned the tales of the conqueror of demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first, I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. But slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan? Yes. <laughs> Thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. Oh, great conqueror of demons, please allow me to swear this oath before you. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain... I will remember your oath. Now go. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking any- Oh, wait. We haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shuin first thing tomorrow and look- Let's investigate this further. I ride on wind and cloud alike. Right? Star Snatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a map? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Here's the letter. How strange that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it! Paimon's curious! Huh? Seems like he actually left us a few nice trinkets. Along with... <gasps> Woohoo! The sigil of permission! Paimon hasn't met a bad guy like him in a long time. Yeah. Anyway, let's go take the sigil... permission back. Do you want to take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled ticker fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond tofu this time? Well, that's not like you. Ticker fish was Pervasi's favorite dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. <laughs> <laughs> 
Was there anything else? I... am accustomed to eating alone. Uh-huh! And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away.